welcome back to my channel so for this video I want to document and show you my process of how I paint the vases for Villarica Flats room 2 and how I regain balance back in my system Patimpla ko na paint. Um, so, <clears throat> babalawan ko. Just look. It's not looking so good. Kasi parang thick siya masyado. As you can see. It's not, it's not water based. I think, it, I believe this is oil based. So, gonna rinse everything up. And ayan. So, this is my work table. Listening to Niall Foran and Louis Tomlinson's. Just a little backstory, I've constantly been feeling overwhelmed and anxious lately. I also noticed that I've been continuously browsing social media, checking analytics and growth, and at the same time, keeping up to date with current events. I noticed too that I do it from the time I wake up and by the time I fall asleep. I know, I know, it's not a very healthy way to go about and end your day, but somehow I fell into it. I found myself constantly feeling bored, paralyzed, and languishing. It's not a pretty feeling. Being hyper aware of how people might perceive you and your work performance can be so overwhelming. There's so much to unpack here. <laughs> I began journaling and seeing where my mental and emotional health really was. I noticed that my thought pattern is being external. My mind focuses on external forces like clothes, body figures, gadgets, money, followers, likes, shares and the like. The constant, I have to have this, I have to have that, I have to do this, etc. It was so hard to admit at first. After all, I never thought I would be the type because I've always been a spiritual person. But yeah, it happened. I realized that I was so fueled by the external factors of life that I've forgotten my internal state. And that caused the imbalance. Have you heard of masculine and feminine energy? To give you an idea, feminine energy is inward energy. It focuses on creation, emotion, and intuition. It is characterized by being. Meanwhile, masculine energy is an outward energy. It focuses on doing and achieving and is molded by logic and reason. It is characterized by doing. Why am I saying this? Because in life, there has to be a balance of being and doing. Masculine and feminine. Yin and Yang. And in my case, I lost my balance. I was fixated on do, 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 the next big thing, the next task to do, that I forgot to be in the present moment. Scrolling to social media, it's so easy to get lost in track and see what other people are doing. Then, we subconsciously compare ourselves to how other people are doing and we tend to forget that people post highlights on social media and that not everything you see is real. Sure, everything looks quick, easy and beautiful in social media. People tend to leave out the bad parts. And in life, there's always good and bad. 
You don't get to cherry pick only the good part and leave out the bad part. It always goes together. already Tuesday and I still have not finished the paintings and frankly I'm thinking of just using the one on the Villarica Flats second floor and repurpose it for third floor because I don't think it will reach the deadline and as much as possible I want to be able to shoot Villarica Flats already this week so right now there's so many things to do and I don't know how many episodes will this series you know take place and everything but it's okay as long as you know I really want to document this moment and look at my hair it's so messy right now and yes um, a sudden realization came up to me um, I realized that Things doesn't have to be perfect or how you want it to be all the time because it is okay if things are not perfect because you know it's realistic that way and sometimes done is better than perfect or most of the time done is better than perfect and yeah I guess I'll just be going with my plan Realizing this, I felt a release from everything that worries me. All the necessary thoughts that's running through my head, all the pent up masculine energy and junk files that's basically ranting freely in my head. Then I found my state of being. I'm starting to calm down, relief came rushing through me, and I felt the balance once again. So, why am I sharing this story? If you're going through a haywire of thoughts, anxiety, and boredom, you are not alone. Maybe you're going through something the same as me. And by this video, I hope you find your balance soon. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't worry, my friend, you'll get through it in time. Just keep moving forward. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.